Okay, everybody, it is me. It's me. Yeah. And you, but I just happen to be Greg Manorino, and you, you're just lovely. You're all lovely. Honestly, you're just freaking lovely. People, um, we need to talk. I have three pages, three pages of notes here that I want to cover with you. I don't know if I'll get to it all. And uh, I'm expecting, expecting a meltdown somewhere along the line here, people. So let's talk. It's just craziness. Uh, Thursday. Did I say that already? I don't know. November 10th, 2022. People, let's, let's just sit back for a moment and just enjoy the silence. I, I enjoy something. I, I, I'm speechless. Today, the 10-year yield dropped 36 basis points from yesterday. This might be historic. I have never seen anything like that ever. I don't I don't think most people have. Not only has the 10-year yield, I mean crater, crater isn't even the, the right word here. I think we made history. On the back of that, we had a US dollar that fell more than 2% on a relative basis or the Dixie. That I believe is the biggest drop in over a decade. Okay, I might be off a little bit, but it's been a long freaking time since something like that has occurred. Now, the driver here, very, very simple. You and I have clearly been waiting for this narrative change. We knew it was going to happen. I mean, how many times did we outline this on this blog? that we were going to see a narrative change. We're going to be hearing all kinds of great news about inflation and how the Federal Reserve was going to, they already set the groundwork. The Federal Reserve is going to start easing back on, on their aggressive stance with regard to rate hikes. Um, and they floated everybody out today. Oh, oh it was just a freak show on an epic scale. Uh, but anyway, I don't think today was anything that you and I wouldn't have expected. Um, it's just, it was just a matter of time, but, it's, but again, all the euphoria, all the or, 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 orgasmic people here on the mainstream channel, I mean, we're talking like big orgasms, multiple orgasms here. Um, they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, with, I mean, the NASDAQ put on over 7%. The Dow over 1,200, or around 1,200 points, S&P 500 took off. It's, it's amazing. Cryptocurrencies off yesterday's low. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like Bitcoin over 15% higher. Gold and silver catching a bit. Got crude oil higher. I mean, what a setup here. Um, is everything just beautiful? Well, let's just cover that real quick. So th this morning, you know, this is what we got. This is the headlines. Are you ready? Real wages fall sharply. Okay, so people are already suffering, um, and they're suffering worse. Market loves that. Okay, uh, here's another one. Inflation continues to rise, but less than expected. Oh, so let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Inflation's rising. Still going up. But because it was less than forecast, it's fantastic. It's just great. People can't survive. They can't make ends meet. They're borrowing beyond their eyeballs. Personal debt, consumer debt, household debt, off the Richter scale, loan de delinquencies on the rise. But the market shrugs all that off, okay? This is the freak show. I've been doing this, I told you, market here, economy and people. Look, it, it, it gets better than that here. Where did I write this down here? The global economy is in free fall with no end in sight. And if you think inflation is peaking, because that was the narrative, you know, oh, it's peaking. Again and again, we've heard this for months. Okay, oh, it's peaking, it's peaking now. Oh, we were wrong, but but no, 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 now it's peaking. Okay, um, it, it's total bullshit wrapped in horseshit. I don't know how that works, but there's some mechanism to make that happen, and it's sprinkled with I don't know, reptile poo and everything else you want to think about. But um, oh yeah, and then and then and then on top of all this, we got corporate layoffs which are accelerating. But everything's great. You know that because the president says so. Biden signed. You wanna see what he looks like? Let me show you again. Let me try to get this correct here. Okay, mummy man. <laughs> yeah, inflation's great. We don't have any inflation, but because we 
had none. Now it's better now than it was zero. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm, in, I'm retarded. <sighs> Let me calm down a moment here. My heart's pounding all of a sudden. So, let us regroup here. So, um, oh, just in case you missed this one. So, we expected this to happen and it did. Are you ready? Sit down. Take a deep breath for a moment. Ready? Like this. Watch. Do this with Greg Manorino because Greg Manorino is going to end up really uh, in a not so nice place where they have people in lab coats trying to analyze what's going on in your freaking head. And I don't think they could figure me out. I can't figure me out. Can you figure me out? Because I, I have no idea. But anyway, so right after this amazing news, the, the most incredible news that you could possibly imagine, okay, enough to crater the 10 year yield and cause the US dollar to go into free fall, that is, you know, inflation is rising. It's going higher. But less than less than forecast, so they float out this they float out Barker. Fed President Barker. Barker! Bar Bar Barker! They float out Barkman. Let's call him Barkman, okay? Because he's Barker man. Barkman. Alright. Okay. Now, <laughs> rising inflation could cause economic instability. Duh! I covered this earlier today, but then again, as they usually do, they float out the other freak. Okay, right after, right after the inflation report that came in so so good, even though it's rising. So Fed Evans, the time for the Fed to slow down in purchasing assets here uh, is now. So what he's saying is rate hikes are about to slow. So let me explain this to you because you knew this already. We just got a 75 basis point out of hike out of the Fed. We got a 75 basis point hike out of the European Central Bank. Come next month, and I said this already, I'm on record. December, we're going to get a 50. We're going to get a 50. Oh, hold on a minute now. There's a bunch of headlines I was writing, and one of them I want you to pay attention to. Well, here's the, here's the headlines. Let me start off. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I feel it already. Uh, inflation is turning a corner. <laughs> See my nose wiggling? Yeah. Inflation is turning a corner. Headline one. Fed seen as slowing rate hike pace. Here's another one. Here's the one I want you to pay attention to. Fed to pause. Fed expected to pause rate hikes next year. Now, I said already, early next year, maybe even January, people were going to get a pause. Okay, but do you really think, let's see, the Fed's been raising rates. Big, big, big chunks here and there. Uh, they're raising that benchmark rate. Everyone's saying it's going to be 5%, over 5%. I say bullshit, okay? I said the Fed's already talking about they want to stop. They want to stop. Because again, they have no interest and they never, ever, ever had the slightest bit of, of interest in stopping inflation. They're going to continue to inflate. How many of you with the show of hands? Yes, I can see you. Even those of you who watch me naked. Yeah, I can see you. Put that away. Put it away. Put it away. Okay, good. Anyway, how many of you believe things are going to get better here? How many of you believe that inflation is not going to continue higher? How many of you believe that the central banks are going to, not going to continue to inflate and they continue to inflate on top of that? Well, they're going to do that. You all know this. Anyway, let us go back to some of my notes here. It's all, all screwed up all over the place. So anyway, <laughs> here's some more headlines in Market Watch. U.S. inflation shows signs of slowing, giving the Federal Reserve a chance to slow its pace of rate hikes. So all the propaganda, the Fed President Evans here, oh, the Fed's going to now, you know, we're going to slow down. Um, you know, it was enough to give this market a real boost, cause the 10-year yield to crater. I mean, probably a hit by, uh, the biggest drop I've ever seen, and maybe it's historic in the dollar to reverse. It's just unfreaking real, people. What else did I have here for you? Um, oh, yeah, how about this headline? On top of all the euphoria today, here's another lovely... Look this up for yourself. Global liquidity collapse approaches. Hmm, I wonder if that person follows Greg Manorino. I bet they do. Um, because I think I have been like the spearhead on this. I've been... 
I've been talking about this debt market issue literally since day one. Go back and watch Greg Hunter's old, 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 old videos. And I was trying to raise people's awareness of what was going on in the debt market back then and how this would play out. And here we are. Boom. Boom. Here's the situation, people. Regardless of what's going to happen here, okay, we still have a debt market which is illiquid. And... It can't be fixed. No amount of passing debt back and forth, you know, central banks are involved in this repo. I call it a repo scam because they're trying to fool the market, trick the market into thinking it's more liquid than it is. At one, more, at one point, the market's going to wake up, uh, in, in my view. And this whole thing is going to come down so fast and so hard. People's heads are going to spin around like the freaking exorcists. Yeah. I always like to say that. I don't know why I like to say that, but um, but I actually do. Anyway, um, the situation is not going to improve. The At its core, what do we have? What do we have at its core? It's the debt-based economic model, which all of you are well, well versed in if you follow this blog. That is the, it's, it's, it's a curse upon mankind being put, put forth by the most corrupt, twisted, vomitous, vile, evil uh, organizations on, on, on the face of the earth. And, and that is collectively the central banks who are the government. Nothing else matters here. Look, yesterday there was a lot of speculation. I covered this in my post-market wrap-up yesterday. There was all this talk about how the market, you know, this probably did play into it to a certain degree. Even I said it did to a certain degree. The, 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 the midterms here playing out, maybe not as, as expected, and they're still counting votes, whatever. Um, okay, fantastic. And that, you know, that uncertainty there did rattle the markets. But I said, I said, go back to yesterday's video, that I believed it was this inflation report that was gonna, that was going to hit us this morning. And, and look what happened. I mean, we get this report, inflation is moving higher, okay, hasn't stopped. It's going on unabated, although it did miss forecast. Look, you know how they play this game. They've always forecast higher, especially in this environment, so they can sell you more bullshit. Oh, yes, inflation is still... Imagine that. Oh, imagine. Inflation is still rising. It's still rising. But because it missed the forecasts by the retarded economists, these guys couldn't forecast an economy if it was forecasted for them by, I don't know who, Albert Einstein. I don't know, pick someone with a big brain. <laughs> yeah, it's just a game. It's a charade. It's all a game, and you all know that. Anyway, look, does this mean, is, it, is everything going to get better? I would be willing to bet that if they continue to float out more Fed presidents and freaks to tell you that, oh yeah, okay, the, you know, the Fed's going to start easing back, uh, central banks are going to start easing back, uh, no more aggressive stance here. You're going to see uh, this market rise and fast. Uh, if the dollar can look, look at the dollar. I'm so happy this played out like this. Look what happened today. I've been telling all of you, watch the 10-year yield, watch the US dollar, the MMRI, did you see the MMRI, you want to talk about, uh, 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 this thing fell off of a cliff at the speed of light today. Go look at it. It's just, it's an incredible thing. Link in the description of this video, free to everybody. It's just, it's too much when you see this stuff here, people, it really is. And, and, and to me, look, uh, it's just, it's just crazy. Oh, and here's another piece of information for you. Jobless claims came in higher than expected, but that didn't affect the market. No, 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 no. You know, look, uh, make this stuff up. Make it up, any of it. Really. Um, public, I, I, I'll even back you. Pu I, I'll finance your book, okay? Uh, if you can make up what you see right now, something as far-fetched as this, well, you know, it's, it's going to be a multi, multi-million dollar bestseller. All right. I am sweating, people, like seriously. Um, but I'm, I'm going to let you all go. I think, again... You, you have all, we, you and me, okay, this is again, this isn't my thing. Forget about this is Greg Manorino's thing. This is our thing. We, we, we do this together here. Some of you have been with me for a really, really, really long time. So together we're making a difference. We're, we're staying ahead of the curve. None of this is a surprise to a single person that follows this blog. And I love that. You know what to expect. And, 
and what to do about it moving forward. Is this situation here going to get better, really, the global debt bubble? You think by some miracle it's going to start reducing? No, it's going to inflate faster. And it must. We're still leading to this climax, people, a climax of epic proportions here, of epic proportions, a meltdown of the financial system on a biblical scale, and millions of people are going to die. Right now, everyone's happy. They're dancing on the Titanic as this market goes up like, you know, like I said, it took off today. Uh, it's just an incredible thing. And you're watching CNBC, Bloomberg, and Fox. <gasps> <laughs> you know, they, were, they don't know what to do with themselves. Ah, I'm too old for this. Anyway, look, I'm going to let you go, people. Uh, please comment. Let me know what you think. Reading you, the comments that you put here, it keeps me sane. It really does. All right, look. See you in the morning. Um, it's been lovely. It's been fantastic. Do you think? See you tomorrow.